Hey guys. So today um, I am filming on the YouTube Capture app. So we'll see how that works out. This may be the first and only. But I wanted to use it that way if I wanted to or needed to pause, I would be able to do that and then string the snippets together as according to what I've um, surmised from it, uh, from looking into the app. Um, another thing, today is Thanksgiving. I just got back from my aunt's house and I'm really nauseated and not from the good way. Um, most of you probably know that I'm a vegetarian and I rarely eat meat. There, there have been rare occasions where I felt that I had no better option or I was really, really hungry or in this case, my aunt put turkey in the stuffing um, and didn't tell me. So stuffing is one of my favorite things. Homemade baked stuffing in the oven, all the, you know, good and crunchy and whatever. Um, I personally make either cornbread stuffing or sage stuffing. Sage is my favorite. But she may just, you know, she always makes it, but she never put stuff in it before. And I bit down into a big piece of turkey. And not only was it a big piece of turkey, it was a dark meat piece of turkey. So I'm kind of sick. But I thought that um, I have a few more empties, and I thought I would just go ahead and get them out of the way since um, this all happened in the month of November. Normally, I don't, like once I do my empties, usually I'm done. But in this case, this month, we have a part two. So the first thing I have is a food thing. I got these at Big Lots. These are Kashi Berry Lemonade Chewy Granola Bars, and they are, it's Cranberries. These are absolutely delicious. They are, it's real fruit, wildflower honey, and no high fructose corn syrup. Four grams of fiber, six grams of protein. I love these. I will be checking out uh, Big Lots this weekend to see if they still have some. So yes, I would repurchase them. If you have a Big Lots, check it out. Look for these in your regular grocery store and let me know. Because <laughs> I don't know if they're regular or if they're discontinued and I just missed it. This is the Tree Hut Moisturizing Hand Cream in Coconut Lime. I absolutely love this stuff. I got this just a little over a month ago. I took it to work and everybody at work went nuts. I absolutely love it. It is the best hand cream that I've tried so far. Um, I think it smells really nice. I think it's really, really moisturizing. When I'm at work and I'm bored and there's nothing to do, I put it on my arms, my elbows, my feet, um, whatever. But yes, this is awesome, and I got this at Kmart, and yes, I will be trolling to see if they have it again, because I will repurchase it, but right now I'm using a Desert Essence hand and body lotion, primarily as hand lotion. Let's see here. The next thing I have, as I drop it, is the Layers by Scentsy Shower Cream and Sugar Cookie. I love the formula, um, but I don't like the scent. Now, I in a previous favorites, I did have the sugar cookie hand soap, which I loved, and it smelled just like Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works, which was one of my all-time favorite Bath and Body Works scents. But no, I would not repurchase this, and honestly, I mean, it didn't smell quite right. I don't know. Why did I go with this honestly thing? Of course I'm honest. But yeah. Now if you want to get sugar cookie from Scentsy like the bar like to melt. Or if you want to get sugar cookie from Scentsy the hand soap. Go for it. But I have not had good luck with the shower cream, the hand cream, or the body butter in the sugar cookie scent. I do want to try other scents and see if maybe that's the way it is with all of them. And they just, just don't do well in their body care line. But we'll find out. Let's see. I finished up a body splash from Winter Candy Apple that I've been working through. I will not repurchase this because Bath and Body Works is not cruelty free. And I'll be very sad because this is the second one, I think, that I went through. And this is obviously the old packaging, so you see how old it was. But it was a gift from my lovely friend Gail. She sent me like a big box, like middle of last year sometime. And uh, yeah, so that's where that came from. 
I finished the Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair Even Tone Moisturizer SPF 15. It's actually not a bad moisturizer. Um, yes, I would purchase it again if something happened that for some reason I ran out of whatever SPF moisturizer that I'm digging at the time and needed something immediately. I would run to Walgreens and get it because Walgreens is where I got it from. Um, I do not believe SPF 15 is enough, but if I was in the winter, I kind of bend my 30 or more rule. Uh, the scent is not the greatest. It is a mixture of grapefruit and sunscreen, but over time you kind of get used to it and it's not that bad. So, there's that. I, like I said, I, I like it. It's more moisturizing than the Josie Marin um, SPF moisturizer. It's SPF 40. Um, it's more moisturizing than that. I tend to mix that in with another facial moisturizer. Um, and it's more natural because the Josie Marin um, has phenoxyethanol in it. And as far as I can tell, the Yes 2 is actually natural. Now, not all of them are. I did check um, like a few of them on the, on the wall when I was looking, and some of them did have phenoxyethanol in it. So, just because it's Yes 2, do not assume that it is okay. Always read your labels if that is something that you're concerned about. These are the Assured Cotton Rounds. I get these at the Dollar Tree whenever I run out and I don't have the money to pick up the ones I like. Um, I did pick up, I don't like them at all. They are absolutely the backup. And when I went to Kroger to get the rounds that I like, they didn't have them. So I had to get what was there. And I finished an EOS. This is Watermelon Wonderland from the Alice in Wonderland kit. This is the last one that I had. I gave all the rest of them away. Um, I flattened it out. I don't, I don't dig. So I finished that up. I will, it was very moisturizing. I very much enjoyed it. Uh, but unfortunately, EOS is not cruelty-free, so I won't be repurchasing that. And that, my friends, is the rest of my empties for this month. And I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't get killed on Black Friday. Bye.